ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶ್ಚಿಂದುಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೋಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನ ತರಣ್ಯ ಇತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನೋತ ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋದೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹಲೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜು ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ಈಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಯುಗಧಾರ್ವಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಯುಗಧಾರ್ವಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿತ್ತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಂಭಾಗ 
Narayano Priyamanango Madapuharam Barana Sikurapati Vajavi Shanatham Vagisha Jushubadane Lakshmi Jasacha Bakshashi Yashasthi De Sambhi Pam Nishingamaham Bhaji Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Devarshi Devarshi Bhutatmani Nam Pitinam Nokin Karo Nayam Rini Charajana Saravatmanaja Saranam Saranam Gatomukundam Parihitakatam Devarshi Bhutatmani Nam Pitinam Nokin Karo Nayam Rini Charajana Saravatmanaya Saranam Saranam Gato Mukundam Parihi to Kartam Gori Gostipoti Gori Gostipoti Sisila Bakti Siddhant Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupad Paramans Jagat Guru told that in this material world whatever whatever object you are seeing it's all temporary whatever objects of this material world what you can see externally it is all temporary in nature Gaudiya Goshtipati Shishila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Paramahansa Jagad Guru told that whatever you can see in this material world any object or any arrangement what you can see in this material world is all temporary in nature this is not at all Nitya at all that this material world that for bonded jivas this is just one kind of jail one kind of prison for them it is just like that one kind of prison for all those bonded jivas that those all those pure guru Vaishnav those who are actually not at all uh, not at all uh, taking any object of this material world they are, have no uh, no desire also for this material things, this kind of uh, Nishkinchan Paramhans Vaishnav and this kind of Nishkinchan devotees who are there, who have no desire for material objects. If you make this kind of vichar, they already have made this decision in their li- in this life that in this material world there is no object, anything in this material world which can just, uh, which can give us the topmost permanent uh, happiness in our life. That in this material world, no object is there which can give me the transcendental happiness in my life. No object is there at all in this material world available. So, for what purpose I am just uh, wasting my life? For up till for what things in this material world I am just wasting of my life? There is nothing in this material world that uh, can give me that transcendental happiness permanent happiness every anand is of this material world is of two days and uh, in these two days uh, uh, happiness it's already written in Gita also that what is actually giving you happiness now maybe tomorrow it will be one kind of uh, poison it will just become a distress or sorrow for you in the coming days. So that Nishkinchan, Nishkinchan, pure Guru Vaishnav, they have just made this decision in their life that in this material world, no, nothing is there which can just give them that transcendental happiness, that which can give them the absolute bliss inside, in, inside them. There is no object in this material world. That in this material world, nothing is there which is called Nitya, which is transcendental in nature, not at all. If you make this vichar, 
then only you can understand that this material world that this material earth that this prapanch of five elements <coughs> and it is just one kind of prison for all those bonded jivas here we are we are actually away from krishna and uh, after still after that we are actually away from krishna consciousness and uh, we are uh, just uh, putting ourselves in this prison of maya which is away from krishna consciousness that's why we are getting so much uh, uh, distress in our life but still we are not at all understanding this uh, thing at all that we are away from krishna that this my heart this chit boss mana it is the actual boss this chit is the actual boss prabhupad used to speak that this this uh, chit is just uh, compared with the that superintendent of the jail that the actual uh, boss of the superintendent of the jail it is actually compared with that our heart our chit that the superintendent of the jail the actual uh, head of the jail of the prison it is actually he is the actual presiding uh, officer of all the prisoner so what actually the chit is speaking we will be just uh, taking that in our life we will take the decision that is the actual boss of our life we will go according to the decision of the chit so what he will speak we will be just following that what is there inside our heart it is just as a superintendent of police what you are speaking only that you have to understand so whatever kind of uh, distress or sorrow you are getting that this distress and sorrow you are thinking that it is actual happiness you are actually thinking that this is actually topmost distress in your life that to take uh, charas to ganja heroin and to take wine all kind of distress and sorrow it is it is nothing but just as one kind of distress but all those foolish people they are thinking that it is actual happiness all over whatever kind of uh, uh, distress and sorrow you are getting in this material world that that foolish person they are thinking that it is actual happiness and and lot of distress and sorrow they are getting in their life that those who are foolish people in they don't know the actual truth absolute truth they are all actually foolish in this material world they are actually just uh, going after material things just like uh, foolish people they are just running for that in geeta bhagwan also speaking already regarding this je hi sanspar saja hoga duksh jyonayo evati adyant bantu kuntiyo nautishu ramate buda in geeta bhagwan already told this point it means that in this material world whatever kind of uh, material enjoyments are there uh, regarding material enjoyments every object it is actually enjoyed by our material sense organs and ultimately that heart will definitely cooperate with that by because without heart no kind of other material sense organs cannot work heart is the controller of each and every material sense organ and in geeta also bhagwan speaking that sense gratification that sense gratification that those people who are foolishly running after those for those material enjoyments that ultimately is our actual distress and sorrow cause of sorrow and distress why because this is just uh, actual starting of um, uh, anand which we are thinking but this is not at all uh, temp permanent anand this is actually temporary anand or happiness we are getting adi ant that actual intelligent person in this material world what that kind of uh, temporary or tatkalik anand what they are getting they are thinking that it is useless that tat the gyan they know that's why they are very cautious and very careful what is actually going to happen in future that all those foolish people that they are actually going towards this material sense gratification and they are thinking that the actual goal and target of their material life they are thinking like that 
that whatever kind of uh, material sense enjoyment or whatever more money you can get collect or whatever m- more enjoyment you can get and he is thinking that he is the uh, top most in this material world this kind of thinking is there this is actually foolish samaj foolish uh, material world what to what to speak and this maya that in the trap of maya he is all the time getting entangled and after that in the coming uh, time he is just getting uh, entangled and attached stick to maya those who are griha vrata griha vrata means means that dohor hari grast they are actually taking the enjoyment of this uh, material uh, sansar they are thinking that that is the top most that is griha vrata vrata is of two types basically it is of two types vrata all over the world maybe some are actually doing griha vrata and someone is doing griha vrata that is called griha meda those who have actually attachment towards uh, grahast that is all vichar and profit and loss it is going towards that proficiency whether he is sanasi whether he is acharya whosoever he is externally he is going towards profit and loss but he is griha meda griha meda if it is actually getting matured then only uh, you are getting more material enjoyment when sankirtan medha is getting increased and matured then definitely griha meda will get reduced sankirtan meda is not at all there in them it is all actually drama they are putting in front of us external drama so griha vrata it means that those in the in the life of those that griha meda is just one kind i'll just give you one example regarding this like that shankar bhagwan externally he is actually in grihastha ashram you can see that no and daksha prajapati also he is also external in grihastha ashram but what is the actual uh, motive for that shankar bhagwan he is actually paramanand shrestha is vaishnavanam yatha shambhu and daksha prajapati vivek vichar that vivek vichar everything of daksha prajapati he is actually towards uh, on the basis of griha meda only it is targeted on that he is respect position name fame position actually it's he is moving towards that attracted towards that externally you can see that both are the same but shankar bhagwan has no sansar at all inside his heart externally he has but internally no sansar is there but daksh prajapati inside his heart external internally both sansar material ignition is there ignition of material sense enjoyment is there externally internally from all the four directions his sansar he is getting griha meda getting matured more and more in sprouted form it is just increasing day by day and he is thinking that he is a very top most uh, intelligent person of this material world so those who are actually griha meda by this which are they are thinking that uh, that we need one sevak that we are in griha meda that griha vrat that we have got lot of uh, profit in our life like baad uh, mein he has done before that kunj by kunj vihari vidya bhushan he is getting transformed and he has just uh, left some griha meda after that he uh, totally it is not at all getting removed but still some uh, it is very very difficult to get out of this in the life of those that kind of business mood is already getting involved no whether he is acharya whether he is paramans whosoever externally he is but this he is having business mood if business mood is getting inside then it is not at all uh, getting uh, out of your heart it is very very bad very very bad it is that they are actually having that we will do business and they are just making temple with hari katha they are making business with temple they are making business in south and from south india there is when very educated person came to me and speaking to me that maharaj that we have made one arrangement of hari katha and uh, there has i have some link and i told that you can you just ask to gurudev that he is in south india so that he can come and speak hari katha that you give me some 65000 uh, to donation 
आफ्टर दैट गुरु जी विल कम I just heard and just become surprised. What is this? That just for Hari Katha only. First you give sixty-five thousand rupees in donation only. Then Guru Dev will come and speak Hari Katha. So this Guru Dev, what is the use of uh, having this kind of Guru Dev? That they are all disciples are doing business. That he is already a businessman. That's why his disciples are also becoming businessmen. So this is the reason of oh my God. So those who are like that. Bards of them either flocks together. This is the actual rules. Guru that guru is actually businessman. Disciple is also businessman. Yet uh, we are speaking that uh, if I was there, I will just beat him and with my chappal and just me dragged him away from that foolish number one. He is a charya. Graham Ada. That those who are actually having grey hair breath, they are thinking that we are actually doing all business and doing job. Everything we will be doing, and we will be just uh, be controlling the whole world, and all people will just come in in front of me, and I will for my sensual enjoyment, for my material sensual enjoyment, whatever kind of enjoyment I will be getting, I will be taking that, and whatever. and whatever kind of uh, material enjoyment i can get and my building should be that of millions and millions of rupees i have to spend and make a nice building for myself in that building what is not there in that building but still i am actually just hearing and getting surprised by hearing all this i am just it is very dangerous that my dev is so much dangerous whatever kind of condition we are put it into we cannot understand in what condition we are That is the actual effect of Maya. That is the actual effect of Maya, the chakra of Maya. We can't so, understand. So, these all people who are who are doing politics like this, a platform of uh, spiritual spiritual platform. That uh, just by speaking on the liter lit literacy level, those who are paramarthi, those who are politicians. those who are parartha they are actually parartha they are not parmarthi they are po- in the political field also in the philosophical field in the astrological field in the field of uh, uh, wealthy persons and for others i am doing a lot of things this kind of external drama what they are showing these all kind of politicians all scientists they are actually speaking all that uh, prakriti that nature they are actually going according to their according to the own which are they are actually going everyone is thinking that i will just be uh, making myself a very big person that they have some kind of desire inside them that i that i should become the prabhu of this whole material world it means that i should become the um, prabhu of this maya and this is the actual desire of each and every one whether he is a political leader whether he is a very lit- philosophical person whether he is a wealthy person whosoever he is whether vidya sagar whether bankim babu is there whosoever is here everyone wants to become the prabhu of this whole material world everyone wants to become the prabhu of this maya everyone wants to become if you this make this vichar then only you can understand then bhakti no thakur that's why he is speaking and writing like this bhakti no thakur that's why in kirtan it's writing like and speaking like this गादा मीन्स इज जस्ट लाइक डम्बैस इट्स नॉट लाइक वन काइंड ऑफ फाउल वर्ड इट इज जस्ट लाइक एज इफ फ्रॉम इन दिस होल मटेरियल वर्ल्ड विच इज दॉप मोस्ट स्ट्रेट वर्क द मोस्ट इजी वर्क इज दिस ओनली that is called hari bhajan and that same uh, work is actually we are thinking it is very very difficult we just understand this point the most difficult thing that political leader that so much kind of entangle and engagement and uh, arrangement you have to do for that to become a great politician just by thinking also you will become mad so we are thinking that it is very easy it's very good to be like that and some most difficult thing uh, it is to become a philosophical person or just to become a very wealthy wealthy person very big vedanti person i am 
एंड आई एम अ पॉलिटिशियन सो मच समाज सेवा मटेरियल थिंग्स आई हैव डन जस्ट टू बिकम अ पॉलिटिशियन इट इज सो मच डिफिकल्ट टू बिकम लाइक दैट सो मच एफर्ट्स यू हैव टू पुट फॉर दैट दैट कर्म मार्ग इज सो मच डिफिकल्ट सो मच डिफिकल्ट दैट यू कांट इवन थिंक ऑफ दैट बट हरी भजन इज द टॉप मोस्ट ईजी थिंग टू डू हरी भजन इन फ्रंट ऑफ हरी भजन that so much easy it is that nothing is that much easy but he will not do that at all he cannot do that at all why because it is difficult for him and he will be taking a very difficult task to do at the time of uh, his death he one uh, uh, old lady her uh, daughter in and son in law speaking that mother that you just speak your hare krishna hare krishna like that to his grandmother हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे शी स्पीकिंग लाइक दैट दादी माँ ग्रैंड मदर स्पीकिंग ओ आई कांट स्पीक लाइक दिस दिस मच दिस मच आई कांट स्पीक शी स्पीकिंग हो माई एंड यू सी एंड ही कैन स्पीक ऑल रबिश ऑफ दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड वट एवर इज देर शी स्पीकिंग वेयर ही इज एंड वेयर ही इज दैट वो जस्ट कॉल हर कॉल हिम हेयर आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक टू हिम समथिंग बट वैन ही बी स्पीकिंग भगवत नाम दैट इज शी स्पीकिंग दैट आई कांट स्पीक लाइक दैट no i can't speak this much very very difficult for me isi ka naam hai that is called maya sab maya ka everyone actually wants to become the prabhu of maya what it means that on to on to them they actually want some kind of uh, more heavy uh, burden on to them that the the as having more more and more uh, uh, happiness on his back he is feeling more and more proud and uh, easy that pralad maharaj speaking that your own material sense organs externally you don't need to activate that at all sukham aindriya kam daitya deho yogena dehina sukham aindriya kam daitya deho yogena dehina अंतरर्थ मीन्स अंतरर्थ मीन्स दैट इन साइड इज हार्ट सम that just to realize that atma tat from inside your heart and bahi tat bahi tat means that panchal desh that kind of uh, smell touch this all kind of five enjoyments what we are getting in this panchal khetra that we are just running out for that only just running for that just by becoming this grah grah vrat by taking that everyone wants to become the prabhu of this whole material world he wants to become the master and controller and uh, we want to just uh, grasp with that whole material enjoyment we just want to make of this uh, material world that is just one kind of uh, hanging rope for us that whole uh, enjoyment of this material world who is making this kind of darshan that he that is the top most uh, hanging uh, rope for us uh, on uh, on our neck and it will become a great uh, uh, sort of distress for us yesterday i was discussing agnir mahi gaganambu maruddishascha kalahas tathatmana atmanam tatha kala kalahas tatha atmanam eh atmanasiti क्षत्र that male female everyone actually is there in front of us and uh, we just wants to enjoy that kind of particular objects just for our material sense uh, enjoyment maya devi has just given different different kind of ob- objects has placed in front of us 
just like a new market she has just opened for us in front of us so that we can enjoy those uh, uh, articles and objects that uh, and just to think that we are the actual uh, material enjoyer of this material world and this material world everyone wants will serve me this is the actual target sole sole target of ours but this just we are not at all thinking even once this point that in this material what, who is for what purpose we are here and for how many days we are there in this material world that world is, is of jagdish jagannath and this whole material world is for the service of uh, material of, uh, of jagdish and by not doing hari bhajan and just by not doing hari bhajan going away from that even one dust particle of this material world we don't we have this adhikar to take that dust particle of this material world by not doing hari bhajan this material world not even one fraction of a dust particle we cannot take that that is the actual vichar we just need to understand प्लेसमेंट ऑफ दिस होल मटीरियल सृष्टि वी कैन सी दैट एवरीथिंग इज जस्ट गेटिंग एवरीथिंग इज ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ भगवान दैट सेम भगवान गोविंद आई एम Uh, putting respect on lotus feet of that same govind the bhagwan that i yesterday i've already told you be regarding this that panchbhut five material khip khiti apo khiti apo tej marudbam this is all kind of five different directions that uh, uh, time uh, kal jivatma and for bonded jivas their uh, linga deha body that externally subtle and uh, fine body everything their mind intelligence false ego mahatatva apart from that there is nothing uh, apart from that in this material world we can see externally we can see that is very good but uh, actually the actual deep which are if you will make nay tatva is kandar nay tatva is already there inside that gagan ambu marut vishascha kalah tatha atmo manasiti jagat trayani जस्ट बाय हिज जस्ट ऑफ द आईज ऑफ द गोविंद जस्ट बाय द फ्लफरिंग ऑफ द आईज ऑफ गोविंद दैट होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इज एक्चुअली गोइंग in this uh, every activity of this material world is going on that same गोविंद I am actually worshipping that परतत्व दैट सेम भगवान आई एम वर्शिपिंग दैट ऑल दोज कर्मी गंस दोज हु आर ऑल द टाइम बिजी इन गेटिंग द रिजल्ट ऑफ द कर्म दैट फ्रूटेटिव एक्टिविटीज दे वॉन्ट द एक्चुअल रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट ऑल दोज कर्मी गन वैन दे आर एक्चुअली डूइंग हवन इन दैट फायर fire sacrifice fire sacrifices for that all those bonded jeevas that their nay tatatva means that nay that nay tatatva that nine kinds of elements of this material world apart from that they don't want to understand apart from that their uh, uh, actual enjoyment in the, is in that only they are attracted to that whether whatever uh, wealthy he can be 
वॉट एवर वेल्थ ही ही इज हैविंग बट स्टिल यू कैन मेक दिस विच आर दे आर ऑल बिजी इन शब्द स्पर्श रूप रसगंध ऑल दिस फाइव काइंड ऑफ इंजॉयमेंट्स एवरी वन इज गोइंग टू वर्ड्स दैट दैट इज देयर एक्चुअल बेसिक इन फाइव इंजॉयमेंट्स फॉर वॉट दे आर एक्चुअली रनिंग बेसिकली दिस इज एक्चुअल विच आर और नथिंग इज देयर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट that all those shushk gyani gan that those who are actually doing all the time atma atma tatva that same jiva jeev is swayam jivatma is there all already there inside that inside the body of that uh, bonded jiva but at same time parmatma is also there that all those tatva within this material world that if we'll be making this tatva which are that this nine elements are already there by this that we are actually just discussing that all those nine tatva i have already discussed it previously in front of you but in the 52 number shlok it's already written brahma ji maharaj actually speaking jachuk suresh savita sakalo gruhanam raja samast suramurti raseshati ya jasha gaya bhramati संभृत काल चक्रो गोविंद आदि पुरुषम तमाम तमाम ग्रहों का दैट ऑल काइंड ऑफ किंग ऑफ ऑल द इंफिनिटी प्लैनेट्स एंड दिस सेम सूर्य भगवान दैट मींस सन गॉड दैट सन गॉड इज द फॉर जस्ट जगत चक्षु द एक्चुअल प्राण ऑफ दिस होल मटेरियल वर्ल्ड द आईज ऑफ दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड दैट सविता सूर्य दैट सन सविता all these names it is actually getting decorated by those names sun god and that same sun god that whosoever moon god sun god by by they are actually by whom they are following the actual instruction all the time they are following his instruction that is called that same adipurush kovit that i have already told you previously yesterday that sun god that he is actually uh, getting onto his chariot and he is actually in uh, already activating that arun arun chariot and for with 60000 uh, rishis they are actually doing stuti and the sun god is actually going uh, forward his chariot is going forward by and 60000 rishis are actually just uh, uh, glorifying them and just by this chariot what is actually moving uh, it's actually moving that our 6 ritu or 12 months uh, we can see uh it is uh, revolving like that because the chariot of sun god is moving continuously that this kind of transformation what we are seeing it is because just because of the speed of the chariot of the sun and balakya rishi and all 60000 of rishi all actually are glorifying uh, them by the stuti towards sun god and they are just moving forward कंक्लूजन इज दैट ऑफ दिस श्लोका बहुत सारे दैट लॉर्ड ऑफ वैदिक वैदिक इन द वैदिक आचर आचार एंड आचरण दोज हु आर एक्चुअली प्रतिष्ठित ऑल दैट दोज हु आर एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग वेद इन एक्चुअल एंड दे आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली वेद दोज ऑल काइंड ऑफ पर्सन दे आर थिंकिंग दैट द सन गॉड इज एक्चुअली ब्रह्म ब्रह्म वस्तु दैट गोरखपुर दैट फ्रॉम गोरखपुर दैट फ्रॉम गीता प्रेस इन दैट there is one seth ji jayadwal ben ka one person is there unke avadan hai that some kind of avadan is already written of regarding him and all those devotees actually speaking that can you show me bhagwan yes we will definitely show you who is bhagwan you just come to me in the morning and then after that when they came in the morning they he show that whether he that sun god we are thinking that is brahma vastu that suraj bhagwan we are speaking that is the actual web of narayan or nothing that is actual tejasvi object of uh, narayan and that this uh, actually we are making vichar that is the actual web of narayan but this is just one kind of eye of this material world that uh, those who are actually uh, worshiping vedas 
दे आर थिंकिंग दैट सन गॉड इज एक्चुअली ब्रह्म एंड दे आर वर्शिपिंग सन गॉड एज ब्रह्म सन गॉड दैट इज इज कमिंग इन पंच देवता वन ऑफ द देवता प्राइमरी प्रिसाइडिंग डिटी ऑफ द फाइव देवता दैट दोज हुर एक्चुअली पंच उपासक दो आर वर्शिपिंग फाइव पंच उपासक दो हुआ शिव जी महाराज गणपति महाराज दुर्गा देवी सूर्य सूर्य भगवान एंड विष्णु भगवान दे आर वर्शिपिंग ऑल दिस फाइव दैट ऑल फाइव तत्व दे आर एक्चुअली वर्शिपिंग दैट इज दे आर एक्चुअली कॉल्ड पंच उपासक दे आर थिंकिंग दैट इज ऑल द सेम बट दे डोंट हैव दे आर विच आर इज नॉट एट ऑल प्योर एट ऑल दे आर नॉट एट ऑल हैविंग प्योर विच आर एट ऑल दैट आउट ऑफ पंच उपासक दे आर थिंकिंग दे आर थिंकिंग दैट दे आर वैष्णव दे आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट दे आर वैष्णव वाई बिकॉज पंच उपासक दैट दो आर एक्चुअली वर्शिपिंग विष्णु इन दैट दे आर एक्चुअली विद दैट दे आर नॉट एट ऑल वर्शिपिंग विशुद्ध विष्णु तत्व दे डोंट हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग ऑफ दैट विशुद्ध विष्णु तत्व दैट दे आर थिंकिंग दैट ऑल फाइव तत्व इज ऑल द सेम दैट हुज एवर यू कैन वर्शिप इज ऑल द सेम दे आर थिंकिंग द पंच उपासक्स सो ब्रह्म दे आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग दे आर एक्चुअली वर्शिपिंग सन गॉड दैट दे आर दैट इज द पंच उपासक आउट ऑफ दैट ही इज वन ऑफ वन ऑफ द देवता एंड आफ्टर दैट so like this lot of persons are actually making this which are also heat 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 that is coming from the sun that this uh, tap that heat which is coming from that blazing fire of heat coming from that sun that is the actual uh, adhar of uh, one of the major adhar it means that in sun god that sun god which is there in that fusion and fusion all the time is going on reaction fusion and fusion atomic reactions are going on in that it means that the the blazing fire of ignition which is going on inside sun it is has no uh, time limit and no uh, limit at all it is uh, infinite infinity whatever kind of uh, which are we are actually making that sun god is just one kind of material object whatever which are you are making in geeta also it is just one kind of vaibhav which is considered in geeta but whatever which are you are making sun god moon god that or stars cosmic manifestations everything is actually is there in this material world this is just one object of this material world that's it that there is one this is one kind of manifestation of this material world and it is the one kind of what is start of this uh, material mandal in the in the in the stars there is uh, uh, constellations and uh, that some kind of presi- presiding devata must be there is because in purans lot of things are there regarding uh, sun god uh, sun god moon god everyone is there so whatever is there we can see just by making one actual which are it is just equal to jad tej it means that uh, it is just one kind of uh, is just one kind of presiding deity of one uh, uh, one srishti and he is just one kind of presiding devata of one uh, particular brahmand and that same govind that sun god is actually getting fearful and just following what govind is speaking and is all the time busy in doing his own seva time to time that same govind i am actually worshiping all the time i am worshiping that govind only adi purush kapil ji maharaj also speaking to his mother devahuti in shrimad bhagavatam that sun god is actually but by my fear he is actually taking out his responsibilities and duties he is doing that jachakshuri so savita sakalo gruhanam raja samasto suramurti rase sutiya ha yasha gaya bhramati shangvritu kal chakro गोविंद 
So this is the actual point. So this is the actual vichar just by uh, accepting the accepting accepting what Govind is speaking they are actually doing their respective duties and roles what Govind has given to them accordingly they are doing that what actually written here? Dharmo Atho Papa Nichayuho Srutayas Tapansi Brahma the Kita Potagabo Thayas Chuki Jeeva Jatatumatru Bibobo Prokoto Prabhava Govinda Madi Pusham Tamaham Bajami Kavataya. What written here? Dharmo Adharmo Srutigan. Dharma, Adharma, Shrutigan, whatever kind of tapasya, austerities, penances, and from Brahma till the very uh, ant and beast down to the fallen beast, that, that Pradatta, that whatever kind of duties and roles given by that same Govinda, that according to those duties and responsibilities what we are getting, they are doing that. That by the, by the, if, by the power of that, they are actually just uh, putting their own effect. That same Adi Purish Govind I am worshipping. Like Srila Prahlad Maharaj Ji. Hiranyakashpu actually speaking to Srila Prahlad Maharaj. Hiranyakashpu Ji actually speaking to Prahlad Maharaj. He is actually speaking to Prahlad Maharaj. That on your what power you are actually sp speaking so much uh, audacity you are having that you are speaking that you are speaking big big points in front of me. Prahlad Maharaj speaking that that on the power of those that by the actual effect of that uh, by the actual effect of that that infinity world is actually going on. By the power of that uh, Purush infinity world is going on. By the effect of that infinity world is going on. By the power of that Adi Purush that you are actually so much powerful. By the power of that I am so much power I am so much strong. On that power I am actually having faith and confidence. And Hiranyakashmi is speaking that you just shut up. I don't want to hear anything. That I want to speak. He don't want to hear that absolute truth at all. Dharma Adharma Shrutigan that finances austerities from Brahma up, up till the end different different jivas by the effect of that whatever power is given to them that by that same power we are feeling that effect externally that kind of effect all the time is actually manifested that same Adi Purush Govind I am actually doing bhajan of that Adi Purush the actual point is that that in this material world one even one leaf cannot uh, uh, cannot blow away by the will of Bhagwan. But still, some one speciality is there. Lot of persons, they are actually putting this question also, that, okay, maybe one leaf cannot blow away by the will of uh, Bhagwan. That we are actually doing all sinful activity, that is also by the will of Bhagwan. No, it's not like that. You are thinking it opposite. Directly and indirectly, everything is done by the will of Bhagwan only. Yes. But, Whatever sanskar one person is having, according to that sansar, on to the basis of that sanskar, he is actually, that his fruited karamphal, fruitative activities, the results of that he is getting. That by Bhagwan he is getting that. Duryodhan also, Bhagwan is not at all in, inhabiting 
दुर्योधन टू डू रॉन्ग रॉन्ग थिंग्स और रॉन्ग डेट्स भगवान श्री कृष्ण नॉट एट ऑल स्पीकिंग टू दुर्योधन दैट यू डू दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट जी वॉज इन साइड दैम दैट वॉट प्रीवियस संस्कार एंड फ्री विल वॉज देयर इन साइड दैम देयर इंडिपेंडेंट विल वॉट दे आर हैविंग अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वॉट एवर संस्कार दे आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस बर्थ इट इज ट्रवन दे आर एक्चुअली ड्रिवन बाय देयर प्रीवियस संस्कार and uh, according to this previous karma fall that he is getting the fruits by bhagwan and whatever they are doing good deeds those who are performing good deeds they are also getting the result of that those who are doing bhajan they will get the fruit of that bhajan so directly indirectly means that duryodhan the previous sanskar duryodhan what is having that according to that he is actually get driven by that and by that only he is he is actually getting uh, going forward and is uh, doing his respective duty bhagwan directly not at all speaking anything to him his karma fall is his guidance actually and bhagwan actually is uh, just giving the fruit of his uh, karma fall and bhagwan is actually giving the uh, fruit of that uh, result whatever uh, good or bad bhagwan is not at all speaking anything to do all good deeds or bad deeds but everything uh, that uh, the zeal to do that particular work uh, that actually is getting from bhagwan only dharma 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 means ved vihit dharma that ved vihit dharma ved vihit dharma ko dharma ved vihit dharma is actually called dharma ved vihit nahi hai that what is not ved vihit according to the vedas it is not at all karma akarma and vikarma karma means that which is ved vihit karma vikarma means that which is not at all not to do that ved vihit karma and akarma means just to go opposite just to do opposite and vikarma means to do opposite of the what written in the vedic injunctions karma means that ved vihit karma akarma matlab akarma means that what is actually want to do ved vihit karma that he is not at all doing at all and vikarma means that he is actually doing opposite he hasn't done ved vihit karma he is doing opposite of that so dharma a dharma dharma means that ved vihit dharma what is it in the vedas he is actually doing that that for non ordinary comes ordinary person they have this conception varna dharma ashram dharma inside that brahman khatriya vaishya shudra etc all these kind of varna and ashram is actually distinct division that they are actually thinking that is the actual and natural dharma to follow that is called varna dharma and brahmachari grahastha vanprastha sanyasi these are actually four ashrams in which every person has to get a ashram chit dharma they are actually doing that and this ashram that brahmachari grahastha vanprastha sanyasi these all four ashrams that those ashramis they are actually ashram achit ashram achit dharma means iska naam hai ashram that is called ashram dharma it is of two types it is of two types and two types of dharma what we are actually speaking that these two types of speaking of uh, dharma what a person is have to follow that is uh, for the actual achar and acharan that uh, kind of dharma varn dharma and ashram dharma in that for the human beings each and every type of achar is actually already written according to his own distinction varn and ashram that all kind of sinful activities what you are doing what do you mean by sinful activities that pap mulak avidya what is getting the unintelligence what you are getting by performing that kind of sinful activities mahapatak gun patak all these kind of ati patak all these kind of different distinctions of sinful activities are also there is all the time going according to that that avaid avaid acharan that in all those shrutis that avaid acharan is strictly prohibited not to do that at all and ved acharan that vedic approval what is actually is there that acharan should be there according to that and you need to follow that according to the vedic injunctions and what the shruti guns shruti gun means that rig sam athur yathar this and his branches of all the four different vedas 
एंड वेदस दैट एक्चुअल क्रेस्ट ज्वेल ऑफ ऑल द वेदस इज उपनिषद एंड तपस्या ऑल ऑस्ट्रेलिटी एंड पेनेंसिस एंड दैट धर्म इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग टारगेटेड इज टू डू तप एंड टू जस्ट रिमूव ऑल काइंड ऑफ जस्ट टू एक्सेप्ट क्लेश ऑल एक्चुअली रबिश क्लेश यू आर एक्चुअली डूइंग नो यूज ऑफ डूइंग एनी कर्म इफ सम वन एक्चुअली डूइंग सम काइंड ऑफ क्लेश एंड तप समूह मीन्स दैट टू जस्ट कॉल इन बाई टेकिंग धर्म इन फ्रंट एंड जस्ट डूइंग एकादशी एक्सेट्रा जस्ट टू डिंग निर्जला एंड जस्ट टू हियर हरी कथा होल नाइट नॉट टू स्लीप एट ऑल and this what other kind of uh, very different different uh, st- swear austerity and penance are strictly prohibited dharma moolam hi vishnu dharma moolam hi vishnu that ekadashi is the on the basis of uh, to satisfy bhagwan that is the actual udeshya uh, you should do ekadashi riga according to that not to speak uh, all rubbish material things at all and for sanyasi uh, people that uh, bought by body speech and mind they are actually punishing their material Uh, sense organs that they are actually by body speech and mind they are serving uh, bhagwan and that is called actually tridand that is called actual sanyas tridand sanyas so whatever tap samuh just by putting dharm in front and whatever kind of uh, practices you are doing of austerity and penances which will uh, be giving uh, happiness to your atma and bhagwan that is the actual target and our uh, shankar bhagwan doing panch tapa that uh, in uh, heavy rainfall and in cold water and in cold uh, weather you just need to stay in cold water and uh, in the hot summer you just need to stay in between the fire surrounded by fire so all these kind of different different of uh, austerity and penances inside that these all wishes are there which are not to be followed at all and all those bonded jeevas this is just one kind of uh, cycle of uh, Uh, birth and death and it's one kind of uh, bondage for them there is no wish of uh, pure bhakti at all in this by which your whole cycle of birth and death and karma sab chakra can get destroyed completely it is not like that by performing these activities that whatever i have already told you that bhakti mun thakur has just given this kind of uh, conclusion and commentary on this that purport is that whatever i have spoken in front of you that dharma adharma whatever is there shruti gan tap samoh austerity austerity banad says whatever you are doing all these bonded jeevas cannot get that pure bhakti inside their heart that whatever they are actually getting uh, the power on that basis of power they are actually moving their life that stream govind i am actually worshiping that all these kind of material things that i have already told you now this which are i have already told that the bonded jeevas inside that the karm cycle of birth and that they are actually by following this kind of rules and regulation out of the cycle of janam or maran by birth and that you cannot get out of that for bonded jeevas this is just one kind of bondage for them they cannot get out of that and the bonded jeevas are actually going all the way in this 84 lakh species whether they are becoming a devata sometimes they are becoming beast some asura sometimes asura sometimes human beings sometimes nang ginner kandharva kinner whatever kind of uh, uni they are getting into but they cannot get pure devotion like that at all even they can become brahma as well he can become brahma as well if in the life of someone has from 100 years that continuously they are following actu- accurately varnashram dharma they are following it means that that particular person that particular jiva can become brahma he can become brahma this all kind of different jivas means from brahma to shudra keet patang all those wild beast and birds that infinity yonis they can cross that very easily that they can they are actually just into this material cycle of birth and death and they are according to that they are getting birth in that and the actual point is that in that wild beast and but lot of bonded jeevas are there they are actually all getting into this bonded condition and each and every jeevas they are having different different kind of specialities whether he can be very fallen in nature or whether he must be the very topmost materially but still each and every jeeva 
of this material world they cannot destroy their karma chakra whether devata whether gandharva kinnar whosoever he is they all each and every kind of effect and power what they are getting and speciality that is all given by bhagwan only that each and every kind of different different kind of speciality what they are getting and the power what they are getting and the effect we can see and sometimes kind of speciality is given to them by bhagwan like sun god he has that so much vibhav and uh, tej and brahma ji is actually getting that uh, srishti creation work all these all these according to that effect what they are getting we are seeing the power that from brahma till the uh, ants and beast and birds whatever effect or power we are actually feeling that kind of effect it is called not satasiddha it is automatically inside them it is there but actually it's all given by bhagwan it is all that effect is given by bhagwan only this whole kind of effect what we can see in each and every jiva that whether he is sun god whether he is brahma whosoever he is whether he is indra gandharva whosoever he is but all this kind of uh, eligibility or the power we can see in them that kind of parakram that is all actually given by bhagwan that that is not at all satyasiddh automatically they uh, already got it from bhagwan that shri govind that up till that uh, credibility that eligibility govind has given up till that point that particular jiva can go that bhagwan govind those who has given him that kind of uh, eligibility and credibility up till that point he is actually limited he can go up till that point only because he has that limited power what govind has given whether he is nahus raja whether he is king pururuva whether he is indra varun that whosoever is actually going that whosoever bhagwan has given in the kathopanishad also it is written kaise kaise how that parat par akhileshwar bhagwan that for the demigods he is actually in order to just break the uh, false ego of all the devatas he has just came to the heaven doors of heaven just to break their false ego that is very peculiar uh, strange uh, object is there you just ask uh, indra ji maharaj asking who is that peculiar uh, stated person and they all the time because become uh, very much frightened and uh, surprised and varun dev also gone there he is also getting surprised getting defeated and this kind of introduction of that peculiar state stated person they cannot get that at all and when indra bhagwan swayam actually going there himself going there that time peculiar stated person just gone away from his eyes and indra speaking where he is that person where he has gone and where is that person goes they don't know where it he has gone he was there only he was thinking and when they were actually searching that uh, peculiar stated person then 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 uma devi sky she is laughing that he is actually sakshat bhagwan uma devi gyan mai top most gyan mai devi she is speaking to indra that inside you indra ko batai she is speaking to indra that inside you that kind of false ego what is being produced inside you that we have already get to your our sense organs already being getting victory over our sense organs that on what purpose that what on what basis you are speaking on what kind of capacity or power you are getting from you actually have just uh, uh, forgot that that's why i am just coming in front of you in order to give you instructions that uh, if you can understand this completely then only it is possible but all kind of uh, power and capacity is given by bhagwan only that is actually called गोविंद अनुग्रह अनादिरादि गोविंदो सर्व कारण कारण धर्म अथो पाप निचय हो श्रुतय स्तपांशी ब्रह्मादि कीट पद गाव धवय सचो जीवा जद दत्त मात्रो विभवो प्रकटो प्रभावा गोविंद मारि पुरुषम तमाम बजामि धर्म अथो पाप निचय हो श्रुतय स्तपांशी 
ब्रह्मादि कीच पत गाव धयस्च जीवा यदत्तु मत्रो विभवो प्रकुटो प्रभावा गविन्दमादि पुरुषम तमहम बजामी यही है That is the actual point यहाँ तक Up till here this shlok i have already just uh, given the explanation and after that that in 54th number shlok it is written yastu indra gopa mathavendra mahu shakarmo bandhyan roop phal bhajanam atanoti karmani nirdahati kintu cha bhakti bhajan govindamadi purusham tama क्या बताया वॉट एक्चुअली रिटर्न है जस्तु इंद्रो गोप मधवेंद्रो महु सकर्मो बंध्यान रूप फल भाजनम आतनोती कर्मानि निर्दहती किंतु च भक्ति भाजम गोविंद मारि पुरुषम तमहम भजामि क्या बताया वॉट एक्चुअली रिटर्न है क्या विशेष है वॉट इज एक्चुअल स्पेशलिटी हियर दैट चाय वी ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट ओनली आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इट अगेन Indra Gop, that kind of insect is there. Indra Gop Namak Chhod. That Indra Nomak, Indra Gop Namak, that uh, name of uh, some small insect. That in all the devdas, that maybe Indra, if uh, he is there, that uh, those karma mark people, those who are going on the pathway of karma mark, those jivas, that Govind. who is actually becoming near apex without any going on the side of the jivas on the neutral platform he is actually giving the fruits or to those uh, jivas and karma ni vadhi karasti ma phalishu kada chanu bataya bhagwan bhagwan already told this point but still the it's very amazing and surprising to see this point that for all those pure devotees bhagwan swayam himself that uh, he is uh, giving that karma sakal just as if we can see it is that we are burning up the dry straw in uh, fire in the same way that for those pure devotees bhagwan is actually just burning their karm phal fruit of their uh, fruitative activity ritualistic works it is just getting uh, fired up just like a draw straw or dry straw i am just uh, paying obeisance on to that same govind sakarmo bandhan roop phal bhajanam atnoti karmani nirdhati kintu cha bhakti bhajam govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami to jabbi so when maybe bhagwan indragop namak that indranomak indragop namak from the uh, very fallen insect up till indra bhagwan is actually giving the fruit of their activities everything is given by bhagwan to them whether he is actually uh, insect called indragop or maybe he is a demigod like indra and maybe he is on the pathway of karma that for all the jivas that bhagwan who is actually on neutral platform for all those devotees for them also there is different different kind of uh, uh, fruits they are getting out of that but still the actual strange point is that that uh, for all pure devotees that those who have bhakti inside their heart for them that govind that uh, all kind of uh, fruitative activities and karma it is just getting destroyed completely just by giving their topmost charnam rit from this lotus feet that govind i am actually praying on to his lotus feet she is speaking to indra that inside you whatever kind of uh, false ego is actually there which we have already got victory that uh, this kind of victory you have got over asuras by that by on whom power on what capacity that you are actually speaking this kind of false ego you are showing that's why bhagwan has come in that form of that peculiar uh, jiva in order to give you that instruction that all these if uh, these people can understand then only that we are actually so much powerful so much false ego you are having then nothing will happen to you you can't understand who is that pe- peculiar jiva but all actually all capacity is given and power is given by bhagwan only that inside them there is govind paramakrishna sachidananda vigraha 
అనాది రాది గోవిందో సర్వ కారణ కారణం ధర్మో అథో పాప నిచయో శృతయస్తపాంక్షి బ్రహ్మాది కీట పతగావోధవయశ్చో జీవ జత్తుమాత్రో విభవో ప్రకటో ప్రభావ గోవిందమాది పురుషం తమహం భయామి ధర్మో అథో పాప నిచయో శృతయస్తపాంక్షి బ్రహ్మాది కీట పతగావోధయశ్చ జీవ యూమాత్రో విభవో ప్రకటో ప్రభావ గోవిందమాది పురుషం తమహం భయామి that is the actual thing up till here this shlok we have already discussed whatever be the case and after that that uh, in 54 number shlok it is written yastu indra gopa mathavendra mahu chakaramo bandhyan roop phal bhajanam atanuti karmani nirdhavti kintu cha bhakti bhajan శ్లోక that the shloka which we have already discussed on the basis of that it is written that indra gop that kind of uh, worm is there that indra gop named uh, worm very fallen worm or uh, insect or even you can say up till uh, the demigods inside them even he, indra is also there in demigods that all those uh, pathway those who are following the pathways of karma for all those jeevas that govind that all the time who is on the neutral platform that different different kind of karms they are doing he is giving the fruit of their action what they are performing karma ni vadikara stema phaleshu kada chanu it's already told by bhagwan but still the actual uh, uh, surprising visha is that that all those uh, top most devotees bhagwan swayam he is uh, that karma sakal swayam that karm just as if uh, that uh, like dry straw is getting burned in fire in the same way bhagwan is also burning up their karma and the fruitative activities ritualistic works everything is getting up fired up with fire it is just getting into ashes totally destroyed that govind on to his lotus feet i am actually doing dandvat jastu indra gop matavendu mahu sakaramu bandhan roop phal bhajanam atanuti karmani nirdhati kintu cha bhakti bhayam govindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami to jabbi so jabbi bhagwan maybe bhagwan that indra gop named very fallen worm an insect up till each and every karm phal every uh, fruit of the karm bhagwan is only giving everything is given by bhagwan whether he is uh, indra gop gop uh, that worm is he is or whether he is in demigod his topmost uh, demigod or maybe he is following that uh, karma mark for all the jeevas that bhagwan he is actually in neutral on neutral platform he is standing and giving the uh, action fruits of their actions that different different kind of uh, fruits uh, bhagwan is giving of their karma to different different jeevas according to that but the very surprising point is that that for all those pure devotees that those who are pure devotees of bhagwan that govind that uh, all their karm phal he is just destroying that completely and fired it igniting it just and giving his own lotus feet to all those devotees that same govind i am actually just worshiping him all the time that same govind who is actually giving his lotus feet to his devotees and is destroying his uh, the actions of their fruits the ritualistic works completely just like a dry straw that govind i am actually doing dandvat all the time so the actual purport and conclusion is that that for all those bonded jeevas uh, 
that on neutral platform there are also a uh, lot of people they are speaking opposite and they are just putting one kind of uh, false accusation on bhagwan that if they are doing like this that how bhagwan can do like that the bhagwan already speaking no that for each and every one i am on neutral platform but for devotees that inside them they have bhakti for me so a special speciality is there for them definitely some special case is there for my devotees i can't do anything in that bhagwan speaking so like this that all for bonded jeevas their karam phal that at the time of that neutral position bhagwan is there all the time present in that neutral platform and whether they are actually believing or not it it is least bhagwan is least concerned about that the four bonded jeevas that duryodhan himself speaking this point in the battlefield of kurukshetra when his uh, when his uh, uh, legs are completely broken up at that time himself he is actually agreeing to this point that i know dharma but still that kind of uh, attraction is not at all there for dharma i don't want to follow it i know it but i don't want to follow dharma at all and uh, what do you mean by adharma i also know that but still i can't even um, uh, stop myself that i i am actually attracted to adharma why because uh, i am attracted to it that's it there is no reason for that i am liking it to follow adharma scar is actually not good in that what bhagwan can do in that you tell me that according to their com car actions they are acting uh, getting the fruit out of that that duryodhan definitely have to get the duryodhan definitely we get the results of it actions what he is performing bhagwan bhagwan is actually is nirapeksh is neutral but still for the devotees that kind of special kripa will definitely will be there for bhagwan because they are actually devotees in them that karma phal that actual that kind of desire for karma is definitely there inside them that that dharma dharmatma karma it is just completely destroyed by bhagwan and it is just not at all there inside the heart of the devotees at all in that jab dharma also bhakti vinod thakur actually just uh, uh, indicating one point there in jab dharma that maybe karma is actually from infinity time it's anadi everyone knows that that karma is from infinity time but still it is infinity from infinity time it is going on karma is from in infinite infinity time but still it is from infinity time going on definitely it can get destroyed that karma if it is anadi from infinity time but it can uh, end up definitely it can come to an end it can completely get destroyed it can vanquish completely for those uh, people for those jeevas that uh, they have desire for the actions what they are performing that with karma they are with some desire they are performing actions for them that karma will just uh, becoming for infinity time like a chain it will go on that karma jo log karma karte hain those who are actually doing karma without uh, desire they will not perform any action definitely everyone is performing action with some kind of desire inside them whether they are actually uh, uh, grahasth devotees the grahasth they are definitely doing karma for some desire but inside pure devotees there there is no kind of desire at all no material desire is there if they have some desire then that is also transcendental no material desire is there at all so this uh, action what they are performing it is the actual bondage for all the jeevas that material karma what they are performing kuch aas 
that with some kind of desire if they are performing some karma then definitely if they are doing karma by having some kind of desire behind that then definitely it will just become one kind of akshay it will not at all get destroyed at all it will go on like a chain it will increase and increase it will not at all get destroyed like money begets money and karma begets karma that karam there is no end at all i'll give you one example regarding this in very short uh, words that indra maharaj is the actual uh, king of heaven and to do bhakti this is the actual duty of everyone whether he is indra varun whosoever he is and indra maharaj ji that he on to the lotus feet of his guru the braspati has done aparad and uh, braspati just got vanquished from there and for all ya- yagya etc everything get destroyed and vishwara trastanandan was called for the yagya ceremony i'll be just speaking in very short to you after that what happened beta what i can do that you just do some yagya for me okay i will do for you no worries then after doing the yagya at that time indra ji immediately has saw that this vishwarup that he is actually doing yagya for us at the same time he is actually giving the part share of that yagya to the asuras and demons and indra mai become very angry by seeing that and just by loudly speaking he is speaking just taking out his sword he is speaking indra is wah varna is wah and uh, very hidden way he is actually giving it to his pitra paksh also so in that what happened he is becoming very much angry are he is just cheating he is doing to me and he is just taking his sword and just cutting his head off that's it and all there is blood and blood everywhere on the yagya place he has got brahmahatya sinful activity pap brahmahatya is definitely there the first thing that he has actually called him in order to do the yagya so he is his guru also at that time he is brahman first and after that he has just called you have called him for yagya you just killed him at that point that you have got the brahmahatya pap that sin you have got and uh, indra has to run away from that yagya place and just running away from that place after that he has just indra that trashta also has just done the yagya so that very powerful uh, person can come out of the yagya who can just destroy indra and uh, just uh, becoming the kal for indra he can destroy him and just to kill indra but yagya that mantra that pronunciation was actually opposite in that they used they have to speak that indra hanta it means that who will who that person who will kill indra that it becomes opposite that indra who will uh, indra who will kill that person it is just the pronunciation done like that in the yagya indra that person who will be killed by indra that actually pronunciation become opposite this pronunciation uh, spoken of by that in the yagya and that person came out in the form of asura you understand the point indra jo shatru indra who is actually enemy he should his power should get increased and the actual uh, enemy of indra indra is his enemy he should get killed it's it's not it not sp- pronounced like, like that in the yagya it's not like that they pronounced uh, the mantra in opposite way indra enemy he should get killed his power should get increased so because of that what happened jat vritra sur came out of the yagya and after that in very small words i'll speak that vritra sur again have to be get killed and that before he has just shared the brahmatya pap to water to land to mata ji's everyone he has just divided the brahmatya pap his sin to them and after that to his uh, we can see that automatically in that case of indra and uh, when who will take this pap by killing vitrasur definitely so just the, after that he is just getting running away from that place and at the lotus feet of lakshmi ji he is taking uh, uh, that oh mother you just save me and after that in manas sarovar he just ke- came in zone and is not at all eating at all whatever kind of yagya how that uh, yagya share can go into water that share of havan it cannot uh, come go into water at all and after that rishi is just calling him okay you come 
definitely we will do ashwamedh yagya for you and we will do all kind of sinful activity will when vanish from you from your life so the actual thing is that that karma that actual link of karma that it is very much difficult to break that one karma is actually just producing another karma and other karma is a second karma is producing third karma and the third karma is actually giving rise to the fourth karma so like this is series of karma in chain is going on there is no end for that at all but that shlok which i have already started with today you can understand that no For any devrishi pitri nam, whosoever king kar, in front of anyone, nobody you just need to pay to them at all. Why? Because that sarvatmana sharanam sharan, that onto lotus feet of Mukund Bhagwan. If someone is doing devotion with full devotional mood, then definitely this all these jivas of this material world they are all actually incomplete. that by the de- bhakti by doing the devotion of uh, that mahapurush all the jivas are getting nourishment that i am just speaking previously also if you are giving water onto the root of one uh, tree then definitely it is sufficient because by giving water into the roots definitely everywhere the water will go onto each and every stem so this is the actual tree that ca- just like by the way of capillary it is going water is going but in some specific separately leaves flowers they are actually separately giving water it's not like that shila rup go swahi pad in bhakti ra samne sindhu is writing very nicely that govin that aradhana that upasana you are doing that worship then definitely all kind of rin or whatever kind of karm he is actually is performing nothing will remain at all everything will get destroyed that's why it is spoken like that devarishi it's a very straight point we can understand very easily but all other just be careful on this point that those who are in grihastha ashram they have to do karm definitely they have to go to office they have to just make some money but in any of the thing no kind of desire they should be having at all each and every action with desire if he'll do then uh, he will become chasa nothing will happen at all your uh, uh, bondage will get more and more it will not vanquish at all it will increase those who are having that desire for karma their bondage will increase more and more those who are actually giving karma onto lotus feet of bhagwan then without without karma nobody can stay that those who have just given karm onto the lotus feet of bhagwan whatever he is doing every whatever i am doing i am given it onto your lotus feet whatever you want to do you can do understand the point now so karma is from infinity time but still it can get uh, finished like chaitanya charitamrita is there you already heard it no in chaitanya charitamrita in course of traveling in sporting worlds somehow when we can meet with the pure vishnu brahmande kum bhamitu kono bhagwan ji guru krishna prasad guru krishna ka prasad bhakti lata that is a, that bhakti lata seed we are getting inside our heart and all kind of karma can just get vanquished completely so karma if it's from infinity time but still it can get uh, finished those people who are doing karma with some desire they are actually become akshay no kind of uh, 
देर सन्यास धर्म दिस इज ऑल्सो आश्रमित कर्म विशेष दैट जस्ट बाय ओबेइंग सन्यास दैट इज आश्रमित कर्म विशेष इट इज कम अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ आश्रम दैट काइंड ऑफ त्रिडंडी सन्यास हु इज एक्चुअली गिविंग एक्सक्लूसिव devotion on the lotus feet of bhagwan and he has given everything on the lotus feet of bhagwan that kind of ashma chitra karma it is actually special but still it is actually connected with bhakti by which in bhagwat ji mahapurana it's already written regarding that what it is written etam samastayu paratmanishta purvatanair madvir aham tarishvami duranta param samah mukundam vi nishe महाप्रभु ऑलरेडी हैज जस्ट गिवन द एक्सप्लेनेशन रिगार्डिंग दिस इन बेंगोली इज स्पीकिंग यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट आई थिंक साधु मीन्स वेरी गुड भिक्षुक दिस इज द एक्चुअल श्लोक ऑफ भिक्षुक इज वेरी एक्सीलेंट Why? Because this sannyas, he has just accepted that just to do mukund seva. That Prabhu speaking. And mukund seva, Mahaprabhu has just uh, uh, giving glorification of Vishnu sannyasi. But those usually do those are taking sannyas. That sannyas dharm is actually ashmana tatma vishesh. But if you are speaking, that Prabhupada also has taken sannyas. It is also ashma chitta karma. That externally, yes, it is ashma chitta karma. But this he is actually paramhans, extra internally, and opposite is also there. Some paramhans is there. Some paramhans is there. Gaur ki shor das Baba ji Maharaj etc. Just for preaching, they are actually taking uh, that coming onto sannyas uh, level. that uh, prabhupad is paramhans but still he is coming onto that sanyas level and for sanyasi in order to wear normal cloth is not at all good it is strictly prohibited to wear that but those who are from inside that paramhans wish is there inside their heart it is not at all artificial it's not one kind of drama that uh, in their life that is all the time their life is actually sold on to lotus feet of service of bhagwan if they can just uh, wear uh, red cloth by their own will just for preaching purpose then that is not at all aparad just for preaching they are wearing even they are actually wearing coat pant if necessary that is called radha dasya about that only prabhupad speaking that bhagwan that absolute seva that kind of vichar of absolute seva of bhagwan santushti vidhan ka just for the satisfaction of bhagwan's seva in order to just keep in front zarurat pare if necessary then i can come down to any level for that you understand the point that bhagwan in order to satisfy that absolute satisfaction of bhagwan that in order to give satisfaction absolutely to bhagwan by taking that inside your mind if if we can come down to some level that is called radha dasya but people are actually thinking opposite so definitely they will uh, uh, incur aparad bhagwan that absolute satisfaction that kind of vichar for absolute seva of bhagwan in order to satisfy bhagwan that kind of satisfaction of bhagwan with that kind of vichar if we can come down to some level that for the actual preaching of gaurvani if i have to come down to with coat pant and tie and i have to go to some kind of pros club then definitely i can do pravachan there in sunday club saturday club where all people are not at all all naked people there also i am going to ready to go i whether you can take me to pros quarter as well for hari katha i can go there just to uh, in chandigarh already it is like that or there uh, in bahrampur also there is uh, one darba one came to me those who are actually calling uh, all the sadhus and just uh, preparing hari katha there that all kind of in uh, is putting all uh, pure guru vishnu there in the jail just for the actual mangal of all those uh, prisoners in chandigarh also the same case 
that I don't know now that 20 to 25 years back I was actually speaking that in Chandigarh all those pure all those Vaishnavas are actually called in that prison and after uh, speaking Harikatha inside what kind of uh, actual uh, just by hearing Harikatha after speaking that in front of them prisoners that in order to just uh, uh, get out of the shackle of bondage what kind of uh, cutting of bondage by Harikatha we are getting that we should do Harikatha by pure Guru Vaishnav Lotus Mode all by Kirtan Katha that kind of uh, Harikatha that the uh, people or the Jiva is getting kind of uh, betterment in his life that by hanging one person onto the rope it's not uh, at all better than that you understand the point what I'm speaking if if it is not like that then how Balmiki Muniji has become so much top most devoto he was actually so much uh, how he can become such a big devotee that one kind of uh, hunter of a jungle he become top most Vaishnav just by getting the association of Naraji Maharaj who actually is speaking that it cannot be possible who is not at, who is speaking it can, cannot be possible if it is not at all possible then how that Chintamani, that topmost, uh, so much uh, very fallen prostitute, she is actually just getting converted into a big Vaishnav. How she can become a topmost Vaishnav inside that his life is getting uh, and, uh, curved. She has become so much big topmost Vaishnav that all those big, big Vaishnav used to take his lotus dust on his head. It's already written there that big, big Vaishnavs, they actually have, they used to come there for to take the darshan of his lot or of her lotus feet so definitely it is possible in uh, any condition it, even by giving one hanging rope to one prisoner or a jiva it is more and more better that you just you uh, person can come out of that if some order of uh, hanging to death is already given and uh, he, it, he can become guru vaishnav has so much power that he can become one prisoner can become a topmost personality you can't even uh, think that all kind of blood and murder he has done previously. Still, Guru Vaishnav can uh, do better, better, better for them. That's why Guru Vaishnav are called Chintamani, Sparshmani. And anyhow, they can do that. If it is not at all uh, possible, then Naraji Maharaj just uh, so much cruel. And uh, not at all doing uh, by just uh, how he can just uh, uh, convert that hunter into a big, big Vaishnav. And Ratnakar Dakshu, he is uh, just getting uh, converted into a big Vaishnav. How Naraji has done that, you tell me. Definitely change can be done. It's not like it's not, it will not be done. But a very pure Vaishnav is required. By just by taking his darshan only, that all the hearts of others, it can get melt up that I have already seen practically that in front of Gurudev so sinful persons have came and inside their heart and opposite also has happened that they have just come onto Guru Charan just with the uh, mood of Seva but they have just taken Seva from Gurudev in opposite and done Aparat and just like uh, they are putting Gurudev in business so you see they have taken Gurudev and putting Guru Gurudev in business. So, a lot of uh, persons also came like that. So, Karam Bhal, Bhagwan is actually neutral. That I have already discussed already up till this point only. In the 10th Kento, when Indra Yagya in order, Indra used to stop the Yagya of Krishna Balram. You can uh, remember that. When Indra stopped the Yagya of Krishna Balram, Krishna Balram, he was actually, they were small and they actually used to ask to Nanda Baba and all the Brajavasis from where so much kind of Sabram have came to you for what all things you are actually busy for that. It looks that, oh my God, what happened? Actually, Beta, Brajavasi speaking. Bhagavan Shri Krishna Balram actually speaking. If you are actually thinking that we are child, that we are actually unintelligent, then you cannot speak to us the actual thing. But if you are think that for all those pure Guru Vaishnav, nothing is hidden for them, then if you actually find it right to speak to us the actual thing, then you can speak in front of us. 
if inside there is no kind of stoppage is there barrier is there inside your heart then you can speak are beta we are actually doing indra yagya every year we used to do that perform that so that indra can get can get happy and he can get satisfied with us and by indra yagya indra actually is the actual demigod of uh, rainfall and so much rain we can come then only all kind of uh, crops and uh, uh, grains can uh, grow up and uh, so much cows we are having if more rainfall is following then it is more good for us all kind of grass bushes and all flowers all uh, uh, cow will take and uh, by that it will become more nourishment for the cows and all the other animals but for krishna bal ram just for our own instruction nand upanand adinand everyone he is speaking that if you are not at all feeling bad i want to speak one thing they are speaking are lala just speak me what you want to speak that if you are not at all feeling wrong that if you are not at all feeling sad then i can speak two to three words to you that they are speaking yes that who is actually indra bhagwan speaking that who is actually indra that who can just uh, uh, reverse your karma fall who is indra he is just one kind of uh, he is just one kind of demigod that's it that he is just one servant of parab param prat parakileshwar that uh, they are all actually getting their own ex- results of their own actions that uh, they don't have this kind of uh, uh, capacity there is there not at all there inside indra just to do here and there your karmphal so why you are actually doing the actual uh, puja worship of indra that ho oh, giriraj maharaj this giriraj maharaj so much flowers fruits and so much grass bushes everything so much herbs and medicinal uh, usefulness is giving to all brajwasis it he is so much topmost that he is actually attracting all the cows and he is just putting uh, different different kind of uh, streams of uh, water and uh, all the people are taking water from there and rainfall is also coming why on giriraj maharaj giving us so much sukham dukham bhayam khemam वॉट एवर ऑल काइंड ऑफ जीव आज that according to their karma fall they are getting their birth karma na jayate jantu karma naiva prabhiliyate shukham dukham bhayam khemam karma naiva abhipaddate asti chet ek ishvara ha aka ishvar ek if ishvar is only one ishvar is not at all many so that parathar khileshwar that para brahma bhagwan he is actually giving their own uh, fruits of our actions who is indra who is actually indra that you can change his your karma fall who is indra indra can't do anything at all that lala you are actually speaking right to us that you are actually speaking it right definitely so that you do one thing that indra yagya and just by doing all kind of paraphernalia you are connecting for indra yagya whatever kind of samagri or for yagya you are actually making or actually you have to do for giriraj maharaj okay then indra can get uh, angry no if he can get angry then uh, you just put everything on on to me we can see what he can do you don't uh, worry at all bhagwan speaking rup mathavendra maho sakarmo bandhyan rup phal bhajanam atnuti karmani nirdhati kintu cha bhakti bhajam govind madhi pushyam to so sanyas dharm also is comes under the category of ashma chitta karma but our bhakti that kind of sanyas of our bhakti that is totally different and all those mayavadi sanyas that i don't have anything to speak of them at all that mahaprabhu already speaking about them sadhu ei bhikkhuk vachan mukund sevan vato kailo mukund sevai hoy samsatar that you be uh, careful on this point but that for mayavadi that we haven't taken any kind of responsibility for all those mayavadi sanyasis that we they want to do something they can do 
we can't do anything with that so sanyas dharm is also ashmatit vishesh definitely but inside that paramans bhav is also there residing all the time that our guru were also having but still external they are putting sanyas vish that of the ashram they have actually accepted of sanyas externally and here why sanyas dharm is also sanyas ashmachit dharm karma why because that kind of desire for moksha that kind of fruit action you are going to get that kind of preeti towards krishna will not get at all that what mahaprabhu actually speaking by by body speech and mind that is your actual target there is no uh, fault in it at all so that if some kind of desire for moksha is there then definitely krishna prem we will not at all get at all and that kind of uh, karma roop uh, action fruit you will get out of the action and if someone actually speaking he is actually being nishkam nishkam without any desire is performing karma then definitely he can get atmanamata oneness with brahma impersonalized impersonalism that he will not at all get seva of bhagwan at all but he will be just getting oneness with that self with his own self that brahman that kind of uh, uh, thing can be done for that particular jiva if he is becoming uh, without any kind of desire is doing that kind of very fallen fruit of that oneness of their self he can get atmaramata he can get what kind of uh, ek- extra thing you are getting because sukhdev go swami was atparam before and after that he is become paramanshreshth when he is getting uh, flooded into deep into the ocean of hari katha of bhagwan but jo sab bhakt to all those devotees who are actually pure devotees who are nishkinchan devotees for them that all those devotees those who are pure devotees nishkinchan devotees inside them that anya vilas by not at all having that inside their heart they are all anya vilasita shunyam by gyan karm they are beyond any kar gyan and karma that kind of independence of gyan and karma just by removing that completely that just by accepting the anukul bhav of bhakti all the time serving krishna if you are doing that that kind of which are definitely will be different that bhagwan shri krishna that for this paramans guru paramans guru vaishnav if some kind of residue of karma desire for karma or avidya if it's there then definitely bhagwan will destroy that completely like a dry dry straw completely burned up into ashes and bhagwan is actually neutral definitely if you are actually putting one kind of uh, uh, fault on bhagwan he is actually giving us but not giving us to this he is giving to them so bhagwan is actually neutral it's not like that he is krishna is actually nirapeksha is neutral but some speciality is there for his devotees because his bhakta vatsal because this is the actual speciality speciality which are special which are of bhagwan but still he is neutral but for devotees some speciality is there aham bhakta varadhina that is very actually surprising uh, point here this is just not like a logical interpretation this is out of the logics no kind of solution can come out of logical interpretation at all no uh, solution can come of this problem bhagwan is actually you just go to the pravachan is that all this which are is there already jastu indro gopu mathavendro mahosa karmo bandhan roop balabhajanam atnoti karmani nirdahati kintu cha bhakti bhajam gavindamadi purusham tamaham bhajami theek hai chalo okay so whatever be the case up till today we will be just giving rest up till this point you just forgive me for that maybe tomorrow next week we will be discussing because lot of uh, which are is there brahm samhita is so much important that you can't uh, put any question for that mahaprabhu himself speaking this point to us that the siddhant which are on to on the basis of that is everything for us devarshi bhutatmaninam pitrinam na kinkaro nayam rini charajano sarvatmanay saranam saranyam gato mukundam parihitvakartam vanchakalpatrosh ki pasindu bhavicha पतितान पावन भ
Krishna Pyonam.